Hey everyone, Neeraj over here. So today we are going to study Network Lab Cisco with uh, fourth edition, you can say. And uh, today's topic is ARP and ARP proxy. So uh, in this uh, short time, I'm just going to show you the objectives of this today's lab is to learn AR, uh, learn and understand how to use ARP and proxy ARP and encapsulate the packets before it is set to a neighbor device okay so it's pretty much interesting topic today so the purpose of the lab is how the arp works and the arp related issues to troubleshoot in the real world fine so it's pretty much simpler and easier in today's topic i would give the difficulty would be four after ten and you uh, for this you need just 10 minutes to configure entire so lab so let me take the pen to un make you all understand this topic there are three routers over here r1 r2 and r3 and i have connected it with uh, fast ethernet 0 slash 1 or between r1 uh, r2 and r3 and uh, between r1 and r2 you can see that uh, it's 10 uh, fast ethernet 0 slash 0 and i have taken two different sets of ip addresses class a and class c as you can see over here fine and uh, let's see how we can configure it fine so the task one is to just rename router one router two and router three respectively but task two is slightly difficult let's see how we can configure this thing it's pretty much easier to but i can say if it's if you are new to it uh, you will be finding a little bit difficult fine i have taken some of the conventions english grammar short of things over here on how i'm going to use dot x as uh, the ip addresses fine but it's pretty much easier to understand and yeah i'm just this time i'm just going to use a static routing also and arp cache on r1 uh, so as to use the default routing spaces via ethernet ports fine let's get started with uh, task 3 and this is not much more important but let me see if i can cover all these aspects over here in the short time okay so with this thing let's see if i can work with uh, let me erase certain stuffs okay okay so now let us see if I can go with the task one. Hmm. So over here in GNS3 I have already created a blank project with the lab 4 uh, as of now. And okay, no it's not a blank one. I have just already uh, set it up so as to cover up my time. And I have taken three different routers over here as shown in the figure. I'm just going to play it out so as uh, I can show it to you all people and I can uh, make you sure that I haven't configured any of the devices over here. You can see uh, show interface uh, brief I can say uh, it's null. Fine. So just a second let me see if I can be helpful. Okay yeah. So I'm, the first task is config t and host name router one and i'm pressing enter so the host name has been given similarly host name for router two would be host name uh, in the configuration mode once again host name and route two but before that i'm just going to wait for a while to come up okay yeah right it's done host name router two okay and similarly config t host name router three simple and done okay so um, what is my next target is task one is completed now let us focus one of the difficult tasks over here for which i have given four after ten but uh, what's happening okay yeah, got it so the task two over here is simpler and slightly difficult not simple uh, interface f0 slash 0 is been uh, assigned 10.0.0.1 255 255 255 no, no it's class a here so 255.0.0.0 fine and yeah no shut command is mandatory one to bring the entire interface port up fine and similarly uh, let me see interface fast 0 slash 0 with ip address as 10.0.0.2 and 255.0.255.0.0.0 
255.255.255. You can yeah, there is some mistake over here. 255.0.0.0 should be the perfect output. Anyways, pardon the mistake over here. Fine. Okay, so in the another one, uh, it interface fast with only zero slash one. IP address is uh, 192.168.1.1. And 255.255.255.0. It's simple. Fine. In router 2, I have configured 1.1, and in router 3, I will be configure 1. Uh, I will be configuring 1.2. Fine. As in faster than 0 slash uh, 1. Let's see. Okay. Simply IP address 192.168.1.2. 255.255.255.0. And yeah, no shut command is mandatory. And let me wait for some of the uh, messages it's done. So router 1, 2 and 3 are configured via IP addresses. So static routing and the first portion both are completed. Now let's move it to ARP series of uh, uh, static routing. Now. Uh, no, no, static routing is not completed. So I, I have uh, one command IP route 0.0.0.0. Fine. Over fast is a zero. What does this mean is simple if any of the request is coming outside the network fine which the router does not know it should forward it to faster than 0.0 slash 1 fine and similarly uh, actually it should be 0 0.0 slash 0 if not mistaken let me correct it once again okay so uh, it should forward it to faster than 0 slash 0 similarly for router 3 uh, I'm just going to stat uh, statically forward my all the packets to fast ethernet 0 slash 1 fine okay so after completing all these tasks uh, we need to only configure between router 1 and 3 because router 2 has all the routes available with it it has also a route for uh, uh, IP address 10 and it has also a route for IP address 192 fine okay so over here i'm just going okay some spelling mistakes but not to worry much i'm just going to show it to you show arp so this is the arp protocol that we have used and uh, it shows a lot of information and similarly i'm just going for uh, show arp in route 2 mode you can see both the uh, routing protocols are presented over here simply and working fine and similarly for router 3 let's see show arp okay i, I need to be in enable mode and you can see there is only one route there is one route 2 fine on faster than it 0 slash 1 it's pretty much easy and simpler so we have covered all the tasks that we have given but uh, there is one more extraordinary task that we need to comply with that is the routing completed or not so i'm just going to ping it with 10.0.0.1 fine and uh, okay there was a little bit lag of success but never mind and similarly i'm just going to type ping 192.168.1.1 fine that is my router ip address and then um, just pressing it enter simply so you can see the success rate is almost 100 percent similarly i'm just going to type 10.0.0.2 it shows me the output I am just going to type 192.168.1.1 it shows me output similarly if I get some time I should have complied with 192.168.1.2 but it's okay anyways fine uh, I hope so I have just given you a lot of time for uh, explaining all these concepts and make you learn uh, how the routing table and the static routing works along with ARP connections that we actually gave it to on the interface ports fine uh, also one more thing do not forget to uh, like share and subscribe my channel I'm working a lot of things uh, very hardly on this uh, system um, so uh, please do comment it if you like my videos also uh, uh, I think I should have also uh, saved the entire configuration if not mistaken okay let me see if I can do that just a second PC is getting slightly problematic as it gets handy hmm. 
okay so never mind uh, it's not getting connected but uh, it's okay to save it but do like share and subscribe but, uh, okay uh, done it's done so let let me do it so with this command you can see over here on the screen copy run to start run. so running configuration to startup configuration that's what uh, its meaning is fine and do like share subscribe my channel and do not forget to uh, see the description in the uh, section below thank you all